Alright, let's- ooh, yeah, that's what I like. Alright, now we in it. Now we in it, my boys. Mmm. Uh, so I'm some magician's rod. Mmm. Let's activate magician's rod. Hmm, maybe we should, uh, yeah. We should just normal summon first, and then, and then do that. It's fine, it's fine. It's, we good, we good. We good, we good. No Cosmic Cyclone, though, please. No Cosmic Cyclone. Nothing weird. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Cool with that. Okay, good. Okay. Phew! No, I'm good. I'm done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. James, you should make a legendary dragon's deck. Yeah, let's do that next. Or, I mean, after magnets. Alright. Uh, Subterra Nemesis Wagios. Golem Sentry is going to send my sauce back to the hand. I don't think that was wise. Alright, so this was set. This is live. Um, so this is probably the final battle. If I had to guess. That's that's a final battle, because he set that real quick. He sent that real super fast. He's reading it. Oh, he's reading it. Okay. Subterror Pleb Filth is ignorant of new mini box contents. Yeah, let's do defensive posture. Special summon. Oh, Knights and Sorcerer. How I wish. Let's just get another Dark Magish. Yep, that's why we have. That's why we have all of them. That's why we have so many. How's the DM deck? I, I think I've cracked it. I think I've cracked the code. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The best husbando. Alright, so, this is live, this is probably final battle. Nemesis Waj. Okay. Boom Asterix, is this a final battle? Our turn. Naisu! Alright, so, first things first. Get that dark magic up inside of there. Get that dark magic in there, alright. Called it. Perfectly called it. I want to... I want to do this. I want to negate this filthy man. If he has the second one, that's... Uh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Whatever. And then it doesn't set, it just dies. Yeah, get out. Or maybe it died off of the final battle. That be I think Dark Magician Navigation destroys the final battle. I'm pretty sure. But, let's just go in for lethal. Alright. Normal summon the Magician's Rod. Activate the Magician's Rod. Uh, let's get thousands of knives. Uh, let's flip. Let's change to attacking position. Let's morph our boy. Let's morph our Baggio. Oh, look at this, though. Look at this, my chat. Um, No spells, please. No spells, thank you. Dark Paladin. We even have thousands of not nothing. Loomis and Umbra's subterra field is completely annihilated. No, I don't want to negate my own thing. Yes, I want to drop the boom. Dark magic boom, my boys. Hello, what I foos? This is James, and the first deck I had to make from Guardians of Rock is Dark Magicians. With the new trap, Magician Navigation, you can set this, and then as long as you have a Dark Magician in your hand, you can special summon it and any level 7 or lower Dark Spellcaster monster from your deck. And 
On the following turn, after Dark Magician Navigation has been sent to the graveyard, if you control Dark Magician, you can negate one of your opponent's face-up spells and traps, and that is not just field spells and continuous traps, that is also stuff like Econ, uh, Neo Fusion, stuff that they play. It's really, really dope support for the Dark Magicians. We're using the skill Trick of the Sleeve. Trick of the Sleeve guarantees us a Dark Magician in our hand, and with opening either Magician's Rod or Magician's Navigation, one of six cards, as we expect to do, we will always have Magician's Navigation live to be activated. And you know what's great about Magician's Navigation? It enables tech cards, all right? Tech cards are what I love about Yu-Gi-Oh! It's what I love to see, and I want to know all about them, beginning with Magician's Robe. Uh, during your opponent's turn, you can discard a spell or trap, especially some one Dark Magician from your deck. Uh, you can use this to play around Treacherous. So say you activate Magician Navigation, Dark Magician from your hand, Magician's Robe from the deck, the opponent activates Treacherous, and then you can chain Magician's Robe, you can discard another spell, and then you can still have a Dark Magician from your deck. Now, James, if you're running Trick up the sleeve, why do you need three Dark Magician? Well, I tried it with some other Dark Magician tech choices, but they do gunk up Trick up the sleeve. If you have Dark Magician of Dark Illusion, Trick up the sleeve can give you that instead of your Dark Magician. So I opted for just the more consistent, more redundancy in the deck, and I was very happy with it. All right, tech choice number two, Kaiku Ghost Destroyer, self-explanatory. Opponent cannot banish cards from either player's graveyard. That's so meta right now, especially against Naus and the enemy Magician Navigation. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is really good. Dark Spellcaster can be searched. And like the sneak thief that I am, I crawled into Dad's Forbidden Discord and I ripped from his people. Knight's End Sorcerer. I know I am despicable for using other people's ideas. Knight's End Sorcerer. When this card is special summoned, you can target up to two cards in your opponent's graveyard. Banish them against Subterrors. Uh, you can banish the Nemesis Warrior. But be aware, Knight's End Sp Sorcerer says when and colon you can. When colon you can means that this card can miss Timing, I had the experience of chaining Magician Navigation to a Snipe Baby. Magician Navigation, Special Summon, Knights and Sorcerer, but it did miss timing, so please be aware of that. Only activate it like during the end phase or when your opponent declares an attack, or just some, some situation where it's not being chained or you won't get the, the removal. And then one eye of Tamias for the spicy memes gives us access to either of our Dark Magician fusions from the deck. And since we do have a tuner, we have access to our level nine off of our two, uh, two and seven. Our level nines, Vermilion Dragon, Azurized Silver Dragon, which just special summons normal monsters. That actually can work with Dark Magician. And Gigantic Castle for its big, juicy body. Uh, Champion's Vigilance works with Dark Magician to, to prevent basically anything. Uh, and then two, Thousand knives, all right. We're not having one thousand knives. We're having two thousand knives because consistent removal. We don't have any way to get our magicians, dark magicians, up. Uh, so we just have to, you know, draw into one dark magician, and then magician's rod can search the second one to clear the opponent's field to attack for lethal. And then finally, three bad aim. Playing this in legend rank, the only deck that I struggled against was. Subterrors and bad aim is just really good against subterrors. Nemesis Warrior activates its ability, and then you can bad aim, yank the Tiki uh, out from under them, and then they have nothing to tribute. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. Please enjoy these clips. Thank you for watching. James, why do you like to say the names of the cards as if you were a Japanese guy? You know why I do that? Because guns used to do that, and my mind is apparently poisoned by guns, but I just like to think of him as an influence. But it's apparently it's a big, it's a huge issue for guns fanboys who miss daddy guns.
Correction, your mind is enlightened by guns. Ooh. Would you ever consider doing a live stream playing YGO Pro to get a feel for the TCG? Maybe do it with subs. I think I think Duel Links is where the spicy content is. That's where the people are. Okay. So no banishing, huh? No banishing, eh? All right, let's go, Rodo. Activate magician's rod. Guns was dad, but now DK it is. Can't argue with you there. All right, let's set. This filth. Yeah, set, 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 set. Mm. Yeah, let's hit. Let's let's hit whatever this is. Ooh, okay. Not so bad. Guns gave custody of James to DK, and I cried the whole time. But I am learning much from Meta Daddy. No, Guns is big. That's that's how you know how I conceptualize Guns. Guns is, is big bro. Guns is big brother. All right, he's your like cool, cool big brother. Brave or Naus? Naus fusion. I have Tamaya's top deck. I have Tamaya's top deck. All right, hold on. Let's think about this for a minute. Wait, what's in his graveyard? Hold on, what's in his graveyard? So we can finally get that Knight's End Sorcerer. We can finally get that Knight's End Filter. Yeah, let's do that. I don't need to risk the Kaiku. Special Summon, Dark Magician. Uh, from the hand. Get this sweet animation. Or you know what, maybe I should've just popped both, you know what, I think I should've gotten greedy. I should've just popped both fusions, that's right. And then we're gonna do... So we could also search Kaiku, but since he's in the hand, let's show this filter off. Let's show this filthagio off. Alright. Yeah! Yeah! Get out! Get out, Phil. And then... Yeah! Activate Magician's Rod in the graveyard. Yes. Now let's tribute Knight's End. Let's get the, ooh, ooh, these combos though. These combos, my boys. Have you seen his face before the face reveal? I have not. Oh, what am I saying? It's lethal. Lethal, James. Jesus Christ. I activate thousands of knives. I destroy Brave Neos. No protection. Normal summon magician's rod. Get the get Burdu. Get the thousands of knives once more. Oh, I think I think I've figured out. I think I've deciphered the dark magicians. I think I've deciphered the ancient texts. See the bell. Beza. Drop the boom, Uru. We want broad strokes. Trimids! Alright, let's let's have it. Let's have this. I can rip this build like the filthy thief that I am. Alright, so what are your capabilities? Trimid Master. You can send one. Face up, try and card you control the graveyard and target one set card in the field, destroy it. You can target, try mid field spell card in your field spell zone, send it to the graveyard, and if you do. So once per turn. And during your opponent, so during my turn, he can dump a try, he can dump the field spell. During his turn, he can dump any tri mid and destroy a set card. Um, okay. Let's do... Magician's Rod. Activate the Magician's Rod. Yeah, it's... 
It's this. It's this. It's this. Part seven is a masterpiece. No, I love JoJo. No, look, hey, don't get me wrong. I love the Jojis. All right. Jojis are my favorite. I was kind of like, ah, anime, all right, I'm too old for this. And then, I, and then I watched those magnificent magic samurais. Like, wait, no, no, he's just changing the field spell. It's fine. Those mag magnificent magic samurais, like, crying for each other and dueling with their minds. Like, that was amazing. But Araki's overall plots of his stories are, like, bonkers. All right, try mid master. Okay, let's do magician navigation. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we're gonna do double dark magic. Double dark magician. Attack and special summon this one in attack. No, I get you. The writing in part seven is great, like overall plot. So what do you mean when you say overall plot? Because when I say overall plot, I mean the ending. And the ending of, of the, like the endings have gotten less, less coherent over time. <laughs> yeah, let's do dark magic attack. Whatever back row, so like, uh, what, Trimid Mesta is doing something. My negation doesn't work right now. All right, the first one, uh, you know, he dies to kill Dio. Okay, great. The second one, they think they kill Dio. Okay, awesome. The third one is like, at the end, Jotaro decides that his stand is the same as Dio's stand. Okay. Eh. Fourth one, got the end. At the end of an epic battle, the guy gets run over by an ambulance. Mm. Uh, fifth one is like just what they get stabbed with the arrow and then crazy nonsense happens okay <laughs> sixth one that's stone free they they have to reset time it's like what what happens at the end of the seventh one the seventh one is also is also bonkers all right i want to normal summon knights and sorceragio i want to synchro shokan four Vermilion Dragon Mech, I'm gonna do this one, I'm gonna do that one. In the tank position, we're gonna get that. Part five ending is bad. Actually, yeah, I like, well, no, I mean, it was fine. It's like, if you believe in the magic arrow, okay. And again, oh, I didn't get to do my combo. Uh, I spent too much time talking about JoJo. Vermilion Banish Destroy, Tamias Morph, Lethal. Yeah, now I'm big bro. Now, now the now, now, so everybody got everybody got moved up one. All right, guns died. Well, I mean, I, he didn't die, but everybody says rip guns. So guns died. Uh, DK. Well, uh, how does that work? Anyway, James moved up to big bro, and DK is dead now. And you're gonna learn to love us. Remember when you meowed on stream? You mean this time? <laughs>